Hey everyone, we're here at Assembly Food Hall in Nashville, Tennessee. This is the newest food addition to the downtown area. We're going to have over 30 restaurants in total. It's on 5th and Broadway. It's a really cool place to check out. It also has shopping as well. Uh, towards the end of the video, we're going to be doing a hot chicken battle, so to speak. Princess Hot Chicken and Hattie Beats. Uh, you didn't wonder who these people are today. We've got our cousin nerds with us today. Uh, Kenny and Kendall. Uh, let's go check it out. Here we are heading to the Assembly Food Hall. It's off of 5th and Broadway. You can see Hattie B's right there in the front. We'll be having the Hattie B's chicken here in a little bit in the video. And also having Princess Chicken as well. The line does form early, so if you get it right at 11 when they open, it'll be the best bet. Uh, but the line does move quickly. Uh, Nash Collection, which is National Merchandise. And Slim and Huskies, uh, pretty good pizza place. Jenny's Ice Cream, which is a real famous ice cream place around this area. And there's one of the entrances to Assembly Food Hall for the indoor part. You go up the escalators there and uh, there's more food places to eat upstairs. Just walking through more, more shop to shop, shop around that and clothing and uh, looks of coffee right there. A really good coffee shop. A selfie opportunity or photo shop or photo opportunity right there. Uh, right there to your left is where you will come from the parking area. Uh, parking here is 15 minutes free and it varies for how long you stay. The maximum is going to be $30 a day currently, uh, but it just depends on how many hours and how long you stay. And just continue along the outside part here. A few more closed shops. Sephora store there. Western store for your boots and everything else you may need there. We got French pastries here. They have a lot of good looking French pastries or pastries inside, and we have Shake Shack here as well. Shake Shack has good burgers, they got hot dogs, fries, uh, pretty good place. And then heading out the side here on EC Ryman Auditorium straight ahead. Right now, totally is a very, very famous place where lots of musicians are staying, and you can see the Bat Building peeking out there behind, and just a little bit of some downtown buildings here as well. Welcome. Assembly Food Hall, Velvet Taco, 60 Vines, we've got carrots in the showcase. Uh, heading up the escalator now. There's multiple levels to this complex as well. Come up on the escalators here. There's decorations for the opening weekend of Assembly Food Hall. And this is the entrance here. Some more balloons. This is just to your left up the escalator when you come. Let's head inside and check out what food options we have here.
Piste de Bosworth. Coco's Fresh Italian Market. They have lots of good Italian food options. I've eaten there at their main location many, many times. So you fill up your drinks at up here. And that's Saffron. Indian restaurant. Looks pretty good food there. Just purchase chicken. Right across the princess and steam boys, uh, noodle soups, dumplings, things like that. There's some of the dumplings we have there being made in the back. And then who we have here is the pharmacy burger. And this is actually pharmacy worst. This is our, what do they call the salsa? Is that different things? Kind of similar like German type food. Uh, I wrote it. We have the Waffle Company right here. And I had this big dream that Brian Lambo was Plenty and plenty of sitting areas here. Also, some outdoor sitting areas that kind of overlook the outside area you walk through. And you got really close. We actually got to the Texas Base. And on the other side here is the actual pharmacy burger. We have some awesome burgers if you're ever in the area. And we started ahead of the sushi kitchen. And you start to head past that as the Coco Italian Market you just saw. So there's a north and a south side here. And you go across the bridge to get to the other side. And there's some of the eateries there. And this is a map here of the area. Right, head across the bridge to the other side. See some outdoor seating here. Around the auditorium there. Have the windows are walking area. And if you're left. It's kind of where you park it down there on the bottom and just some more of the area here. Here we are on the other side now. Yeah. Coming to get caught in snow, it's just shaved ice. Got plenty of sitting areas again, there's a bar ahead. Give you a look at cakes there. Thai essay, Thai food. We have whisk, crates, and cafe. So they have coffee as well. So there we are. You can see them making some of the crates right there. That's really good. I'm just turning back around, you can see some more of the sitting area here. Heading back to the other side. Other side, you see cotton and snow again. Uh, out to the right is another taco place. Looks like they're not quite open yet. This is opening weekend officially. Uh, but a few things are still not open yet. You see the pizza ovens here at the sauna. Great pizza place. Hawaiian poke bowls, and then down here on the end, they do have a uh, smoking chicken for this grill. And you can just see those chickens on the rotisserie right there. Looks really good. And just outside the rotisserie chicken place, and then a place to fill your drinks at. And again, plenty and plenty of seating here. Uh, little couch areas. A little social seating, outdoor seating, uh, just lots and lots of places to sit at. I can think of all, there's a place called the Dry House here. It's pretty cool. This is some of the outside area here, and another interest in Assembly Food Hall here on the second level. 
just walking through the assembly foot all further now. Uh, this, the sauna is kind of over to our left, and this is kind of where you come in uh, directly across from the bridge there. Uh, blush, another bar here, and then uh, no big cookie dough. It's right ahead of us. No big cookie dough is a pretty cool little treat. Just think of your cookie dough, but it's almost like it's actually raw, and so it's pretty good. But it's edible, of course. <laughs> and we're heading back across the bridge now. 60 vines, one and nine, it's just upstairs. How you doing? Folks come in the 60 of vines here, and you can just kind of see this pretty cool restaurant here. And that's an outside sitting area. Also, they have some outdoor sitting up here as well. So you have some lounge areas, and tables, and it's all kinds of great little spots to sit out here. And there's the Brahmin Auditorium in front of us. And then you have the Bat Building just behind that as well. Don't forget to look at the downtown Nashville area from up here as well. So there is Tootsie's Orchard Lounge. Has the rooftop bar there. More of the downtown skyline. You can see Broadway as well. Uh, a lot of bars and a lot of fun time can be had there. And then the Ramen Auditorium right there in front of us. And just looking back towards more of Nashville there. Some of the buildings here. Just a really cool place they built here with Assembly Food Hall. All right, everyone, we're getting ready for the battle of Princess Chicken versus Hattie Bees. We're inside Hattie Bees right now. And here's a look at the menu. Uh, you can get the heat level from no spice at all, all the way up to shut the cluck up. And here we are at Princess Chicken. Let's take a look at the menu. This is just right outside Princess Chicken. Cool little painting here with the hot chicken and the prince. And there's just a little informational plaque here about Nashville hot chicken. Got both hot chicken places, Hattie B's here and Princess Chicken here. Uh, Hattie B's is usually the busier one here at the Assembly Food Hall, so if you run upstairs at the second level of Princess, maybe a West Line. Also, if you like Hattie B's Chicken, if you go out to Cold Springs area and you go to Bishop's uh, Meat and Three, the owners of Bishop's Meat and Three are the owners of Hattie's B's, so you can get the hot chicken out there and usually you can bypass the line. It's a little, little known fact, but if you go out to Cold Springs area, definitely check out Bishop's Meat and Three. And then also Princess Chicken is here. And Princess is the original Nashville hot chicken. Miss Jeffries is one of the sweetest ladies you'll probably ever meet. If you go to the Nolan Road location, you'll see her out there usually talking to clients, uh, interacting with people, uh, just doing multiple things that she's awesome to talk to. Um, we started back with Miss Jeffries' great uncle, or great great uncle, I believe it is, uh, was known to be a womanizer, supposedly. And so they made him fried chicken one day, spiced up the fried chicken. And it was a punishment. Uh, but he loved it so much, he created a Princess Hot Chicken. And that's where we are today. So let's give them both a try. All right, guys. So as you know, we're at the Assembly Food Hall off of Broadway. We have Jeremy here and our cousin Kendall from North Carolina. They are going to do a hot chicken battle, which is the best between Hattie B's and Prince's. So let's give it a try. Hattie B's first. So did you, what, did you guys get hot or medium? You got medium? How's the heat and the flavor most? The heat's not that bad. Yeah, the chicken profile is really good. Really, really good chicken. Yeah. A good amount of spice to it. Okay, so that was Hattie B's. Let's try Prince's next. So heat was, is that the same? No, it's a lot hotter. So they're both medium. Yeah. Prince's medium is much hotter. Okay. Yeah. What about the flavor? Prince's chicken is just really good. Get that yeah. more of a cast iron fried chicken taste to it. Okay. So overall, Kendall, is it hot? <laughs> so overall, you would say the winner is? Prince's. Prince's. Yeah, both are really good. You can't go wrong with either one. Prince's is the overall winner. 
I love Princess Chicken. I would definitely recommend it. Okay. Well, we also have over here my uncle. So, you, did you try both of them? Both of them. What do you think? Princess, all the way. All right. There you go. We're going to head to Elixir now and get some coffee. Huge door, pretty cool. Oh, there's our cousin nerd and Stephanie nerd. Pretty cool coffee shop here. Let's give it a try. Take a look at their menu here. They have some really good bakery items here as well. Just got our coffee here for uh, The ice mocha. Uh, really good. It's got a really unique coffee taste too. It's a good roasting notes for the coffee afterwards. Uh, they definitely recommend it for the area for a coffee shop. So we are heading to the parking garage area. Uh, it's just a really cool mural on the wall here. Right, we're heading on the escalator, leaving the uh, assembly food hall now. I just had an awesome time here. If you're in the downtown area, it's definitely something to check out. Lots of food options, coffee options. Uh, you do have some shops as well. Uh, and if you're here for 15 minutes, it's also free parking, so you could just order your food to go if you want to, grab it real quick. Uh, but if you're in the area, definitely check it out. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you do. And be sure to like and subscribe. Yes.